What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States of America. And in this episode we are conquering this rebel held territory in York Factory in the Northwest Territories. Shouldn't take too much trouble. Um, but this is... It's part of our uh, crusade to secure the continental United States. And this army may end up being recommitted to... Actually, eh, eh, yeah. let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's get to the uh, next turn before we worry about that. The bulk of the enemy force is just bulk in air quotes because they are not very large. They have a lot of just regular melee infantry and I don't think it's going to cause us too many problems. Keep my long rope from in together. Split the cav. And then let's make sure we have a look at our Field Marshal of America. They look pretty spiffy. Although I'm not quite so sure I like... Eh, the different uniforms I suppose is fine. General staff in those days may have had a bit more freedom to pick what sort of outfit they were going to choose within reason. Maybe. So let's drop some howitzers. And let's get cracking. Have to advance right up into their face. Artillery doing some glorious work. It's a British general. You scoundrel. Oh yeah, the field marshal has a small arranged thing because they, they actually draw their pistols and shoot. Were you so inclined to use your field marshal in that way? Let's get involved in a bit of a scrum. them routed. All my artillery engaged their general's bodyguard. Yep, yeah, they are shattered. So let's advance slowly and with caution up the field. Until we find out where the rest of them are hiding. Music's definitely chosen the wrong time to kick up into this gear. Hello. Yeah, they split their force into two. I feel Marshall's going to get try to get some handgun action. Keep picking off their general's bodyguard. Let's split the army. Come on, Field Marshal, draw those handguns. Are oh, they going to run out of? They're going <laughs> to. They've already ran out of range. Keep running. Keep running. Ah, 
There will be another time. Long rifle men are just sniping these guys, no trouble. Backed up by some mercenaries and regular infantry, that's pretty awesome. Enemy general's been scared off. Only this last unit here. Yep, that's kind of to be expected, really. Nice. Another territory to supply furs to the global market. Demolish this building, because we don't want a military governor's barracks up here. Let's get a new road built, and then this rake... We've already got a rake keeping an eye on Yankton. I might send you down to preemptively scout Texas for us. It'll take you a long time to get down there, but that is just fine. Keep it and you can leave the Northwest Territory. Yes. Sir. We will attempt to pick you up Forward. in the port. Meanwhile... Our naval strength is gathering. Our armies are yes. <laughs> refocusing. So we've taken Martinique. Probably, yeah, I want to fortify Martinique. And then we get this army, once it's, once it's completed, we'll, once it's replenished, we'll go down and secure South America. Um, but then we are going to want to attack France, I believe. Let's hit N10. Yeah, you're on your way to the Plains Nations peoples. No, the Plains Nations. Yeah, I think it's the Plains Hills. Off to the west. The territory that normally never gets taken to the very last minute. Yeah, the Brits are up there at Agvictuk. Eventually, well, we will eventually lose our a significant portion of our... Uh, tax base or trading empire because we will start to uh, have to declare war on certain nations well i think i would like to have invaded the dutch holdings in north north africa before i declare war on britain because i would like i like the idea of well i may be able to direct some of the british effort in that may otherwise come at me in the Americas towards North Africa. But it looks like the Ottomans are going to make the game chug. So I will see you guys in a second. So I occasionally get asked what do I do when the game breaks. And it took 15 minutes for that to <laughs> that turn to end. And I was so sufficiently disengaged from the game. I was playing on my phone and found I was back here. Um, obviously the turn had completed, but I completely missed the rest of it. Uh, but yeah, sometimes when the game feels like it's stopping, or it's broken, or it is cr has crashed, it hasn't. If you can still hear the music, I think it's still... It's, it's moving, it's just real slow. <laughs> but right, let's get more investing on the go. And then let's take... At the ready. Yeah, you guys get my Field Marshal of the US. I mean, he shouldn't get killed. But at least he can make it all the way over to Louisburg anyway, so that's fine. Upgrade the port, upgrade the sloop. Rebuild the territory into a magistrate. The roads are on their way. Okay, all the Rupert's Land stuff we've upgraded. We've got the roads in Martinique. The army is at full strength. Let's upgrade to a military governor's barracks and let's recruit a couple of units of militia to protect the port and let's build two sloops next turn. Well, I mean, to be fair, I can use this army. Use this navy, I should say. Get you guys embarked. And get on down to attack Paramaribo. I mean, that's just going to be an auto-resolve right there. For battle. So let's get... Ooh, let's not build the sugar warehouse just yet. Let's get the roads built. And let's get 
the mine built. So Barbados keep building two sloops, because one will occupy um, the port here, then another will make their way down to Demerara. Uh, yeah, get the lumber mill. And then spend the rest on replenishing the army as much as is practically possible. They do have a reasonable force down here, but I think we will be okay. Got a bunch of recruitment on the go. Excellent. So we've got two armies here ready to rock and roll. So I think the next best thing is to attack Tangier, and I will probably send both of my armies here to land here. And one will hold Tangier, and then one will move east along the along the coast road and start securing other territories. So let's take this fleet. Split it in half. So they've got two smaller fleets. Under sail. Officer on Ready and waiting. Still ship shape. They can collect these troops. Let's move them over to Europe. There's a Spanish fleet sat there with a small handful of troops. Not that we're worried about them. We are starting to build up another force in Philadelphia. That's going to take a bit of time. But that's okay. We still do have... Um, oh no, sorry. We moved them. Uh, I am going to want to keep... I mean, I'm going to need to keep uh, recruiting armies in the US because we'll never have enough troops. So, my understanding was I need to go double check how to get the how to recruit the uh, special units. I think I do end up having to knock these down and build military things. Because I did, I'm sure when I researched this before you had obviously you had to get the you got like the the special units like the Delaware units and the New York units um but when i looked the the indications i was getting was that i could recruit them i mean my my understanding was you had to build these up to military buildings but you could um recruit them without that and that's part of the reason why i went so hard in not building the military buildings here because when I did when I looked into it, it just said, "Yeah, that's fine," um, but apparently not. Um, so, yeah, let's. Hold on, just a sec, guys. I'm going to quickly look into that right now. Okay, I've done some looking, so I do need to. So down here at Williamsburg, Virginia, New York, and in Annapolis, I need to torture the government buildings there to get some elite units, but I'm a bit puzzled because apparently I should be able to recruit the first Delaware unless it's a well it doesn't look like it's a tech problem I should be able to recruit the first Delaware anyway there's Morgan's Provisional Rifle Corps Yeah, there's a bunch of yeah. So first Marilyn, I should be able to recruit. Should have been able to recruit at the military academy level. This this was it. This was why I was looking at it going. Okay, and it was recruitment of. So second New York, I need to build in New York. Uh, do, 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 do. First Maryland in Maryland. Morgan's provisional, I can recruit anywhere. Pulaski's legion is in Virginia. Second Continental Light Dragoons is... I'm not there yet. Need some more tech there. But yeah, I should be able to recruit them. Recruit. Second New York. Uh, the first Delaware right now. But I am not able to. Which is puzzling. Um, but anyway, let's carry on. 
down to 43 gold time to hit and turn and let things carry on very puzzling is how i've how i've looked it up it is very much a i need a barracks in pennsylvania for the first delaware but i've got that got that and then some um in the second continental light dragoons I need a barracks in boston got that but then again with those guys I, i'm short of certain technologies but anyway let's not dwell on that let's keep cracking on so we're gonna let our troops reinforce in south america then they will strike southeast and secure the other dutch territory there and then we will land land in morocco and knock out the the dutch for good actually in, in all of europe um, but it looks like the ottomans are going to cause the game to chug again so i will see you in again in a minute once again That was another 15, 20 minute end turn phase. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna take some time out of my day, for sure. Okay, my European invasion forces have arrived. Awesome. Okay, everyone's on the move. You're still pushing towards Yankton. Okay, we're right. Our invasion forces are here. Let's see if Casablanca is currently occupied. It is not. Deploy our troops. And let's raid. Ooh, good job we didn't get attacked. They, that fleet could actually do a lot of damage to us. So what we're going to do is we're going to tip these troops ashore here as well and these fleets are going to combine <laughs> in this port so they are less susceptible to being annihilated Tangier is ready but ready to be defeated we're going to bring both of our armies up here before we do that though we're going to make sure that everything else is being done such as upgrading our starting to rebuild some of our magistrates to be uh, closer to what we actually need them to be. You're still recruiting, that's fine. Ready for action. We've got some, some more second rates here at Louisburg. Am I any invenerable? They will probably join Emmett Gascoigne. Ready and waiting. Orders, Captain. And you are still replenishing. We can drop some cash into beefing up this province. Martinique is protected. Through. Ultimately, you can advance towards the enemy. But I think the main action is going to be let's take Teach Anthony words. Wayne Underway. and attack Tangier, the centre of Dutch power in this region. We've got our reinforcements. They have their reinforcements. We're going to do battle and destroy the enemy. So <laughs> and from my perspective, we're, well, from your guys' perspective, we're not that far into the episode. From my perspective, I've been trying to re I've been recording this episode for a while but let's get cracking this is why it can be so difficult to <laughs> at times schedule the recording sessions because you might think okay I got a couple of hours I can get two episodes no you you might only get one. Oh well let's see how we get on oh nice wide open battlefield here this is perfect Our artillery is going to stay behind the lines and engage at range. Because the range of foot artillery is significant. We're going to go straight on with quicklime. 
We're going to split our artillery fire. We need to be cognizant of where the enemy reinforcements come in from. But that's okay. We don't have to worry about that for now. And we are going to advance towards the enemy at speed. I'm letting the artillery shoot at whatever they wish to engage first. They've annihilated this unit of grenadiers. Not artillery is probably engaging the enemies. Probably engaging this artillery here. Probably want to instead get them to attack the enemy's troops on the field. Bright blue colonial lights are pushing up. Engage them with our artillery. With our cavalry, rather. Advance up our blank. The 9th Regiment are likely going to break. We can largely ignore what's going on. Let's move you guys up, move my rangers up, push the cavalry up. The enemy cavalry will be defeated and that will provide our first indications of where the enemies are. We've done some really good damage with our quick climb there. Cavalry is shattered, so move up our left division. If we can knock out the 9th, superb. We can bring it forward our whole line. We're not going to worry about destroying the enemy for good. To retarget some of our howitzers, or a lot of our howitzers fire on the left flank, because right now we've got a lot of. This direct a lot of our artillery fire over onto this flank. If needs be, we can smash our cavalry in. Actually, we might do that. Let's retarget the artillery just against anything else. Dip your bayonets and charge. It's broken the 10th regiment. Let's get Mr. Wayne over here. We've got a couple of units that can be pursued. Enemy reinforcements coming in directly behind us. L lots of enemy enemy units collapsing in the centre. Maintain our advance and secure the ground. Keep picking new targets for our artillery. Carabiner, go after the desert warriors. Light infantry go for the enemy there. Their flank is collapsing. I may push my cavalry through the town. Superb effects being achieved on target. Kill that last infantryman there. Then you need to spin around and help your heavy cavalry comrades. The right flank has collapsed almost entirely. Artillery engage the cavalry to the rear. Engaged, well, being engaged by the general's bodyguard and a unit of light cavalry. 
We got a general over here. He's being hit by being hit by shots that are currently missing. Okay, push up our line. Continue the pressure. Right flank, kill the enemy general. Keep pitting. We should all engage the 5th regiment. Okay, right, this cavalry needs to come over here rapidly to support our other flank. I didn't run into those stakes. They should be okay. Yeah, that'd be fine. Ideally, run my infantry line through the town. Bayonet charge those warriors when the time comes. the light cavalry this cavalry has to come over here we need to start defeating the enemy that'd be right perfect 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 native indian cavalry light cavalry my grassier on the way out i need to pull you guys out of that fight how it's the switch to round sharp Bayonet charge the colonial line. Push up our line. Maybe not quite as aggressively as I originally intended, but aggressive nonetheless. Limber up the artillery. We're going to get charged by light cavalry, but that's fine. We just need to secure our flank here. Because soon I can get infantry into the mix to support. Artillery start pounding the enemy reinforcements as they come in. They're going to be run through their guns. Yeah, but they've been dealt with. Artillery limber up, howitzers advance. Commit line infantry into this action just to provide a little bit of extra support. They're starting to enter the field in greater numbers. Let's pivot this infantry unit just to make sure they do not start engaging the cavalry fight. Just start shooting. Okay, try to get over here. We're going to be without artillery support for a period of time. Excellent. Kill the last of those cavalrymen. And ideally, I'd like to pull the infantry out of this fight. But if we can knock out this colonial light cav, we'll be heading we'll be a lot a lot closer to where I want to be. Push my line up, maintain the maintain the integrity of the line. Okay, now this formation advance up. Let's 
start hitting the flank of their line a little bit more. You might just get he get to here, unlimber and start firing round shot because we need we need more firepower. This militia unit on the side is a bit risky. Send a detachment of what's well, it Anthony Wayne is going in. A unit of light cavalry is going in. You're not quite where I want you to be, but you're close enough to provide some support with round shot. Advance. Enemy light dragoons. And everybody who isn't cavalry pushing to support the militia my line get up here artillery start slamming round shot in although quick climb may work if I drop it right here in the middle right there yes exactly perfect Oh, mass retreat. Look at that. Perfect. Let's make our lines contiguous. Maintain the advance. Take them head on. Straight into the 1st Regiment. How it's is back onto round shot. That was incredibly decisive, that manoeuvre. Although the cavalry may actually just slam into as many of these infantry units as they possibly can. Drive them back. Beautiful slaughter. men there's not enough of my men here to do the work they need to do but by god they will do it kill them kill them all chase down every unit that's not shattered Kill the eighth. Beautiful. Yes, we are going to continue. I'm going to cease fire the artillery and just let my guys chase down as many, kill as many as they can. We're not going to be able to kill them all. Our cavalry force just isn't strong enough, but we'll have a damn good go. Looks like my hussars at some point must have ran into some stakes because now they are very, very peaky. But still, that was a great victory. We didn't need to call in on any any of our reinforcements. And that quick line route was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Close victory. It wasn't close. It was a grand victory. It was a great victory. Look at that. So many kills. Colonial Light Cav. So, so many kills across the board. Prepare the troops for battle. Excellent. We can now begin repairs. Let's fortify the settlement. You men replenish. You've done an exceptional job. We are going to be hated for a while, but if we exempt them from tax, that will certainly help. Yes. And then with our remaining forces. Oh, we're not within range of attacking Cobus de Bier. But we will <laughs> we will be soon. Okay, let's get some upgrades for the Palatial State and the Steampunk Mine. 
This territory needs to start funding. <laughs> start self-funding its... Uh, start self-funding itself. And contributing to the Empire rather than being a net drain. Some interesting ships. Prince Royal, Frolic, Assurance, Richmond, Purple Sovereign, Bears, and Atalanta. Nice. Well, that's quite a decisive engagement for us. Elsewhere, the recruitment is continuing. You guys are still heading down south. You can recruit a sloop to protect this fleet. Or to uh, protect this port, rather. Make ready. Fleet ready. These trade ships are still recruiting. Orders. Just get some extra ships for you. Let's hit end turn. Let everybody continue moving. Uh, no, 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 no. We have a great relationship with Mexico. Don't spoil it with trying to demand territory from me. That will not do. The Royal Navy, <laughs> the British Army is mobilising. We need to build another army in the Americas. Just keep building armies. We're at that point now. Just keep building. Keep pushing them out. Let's see if the Ottoman Empire does the same again. Well, I, was t I was hopeful for a minute there with the movement. There might not be too terrible. It all depends on what they're trying to do. We actually get some visibility on what they're doing this time rather than it being a complete cluster. It's just that congregation of units, it really isn't helping. They're work they're shift they're probably shifting units between all the all these individual armies and I mean they must not have a a, a great enemy to fight, otherwise they would be you know, attempting to try and move them towards the front. They're just kind of sat there. But still, this is already a lot faster than previous previous turns. And it kind of goes to show that, yeah, the Ottoman end turn phase, it can really suck when they, when they really slow it down, but they don't slow it down all that far forever. You know, there will be a point where they it just skips past their turn just like normal. It will happen. But now we've made landfall in Europe. We can secure North Africa, push along, and then start to understand what it is we want to do. I mean, we're attacking from the west. It makes sense to continue that, I think. Continue that and keep growing the navy. We will never have enough ships. It's part of what makes... Well, Morocco adds... It provides us some... Uh, there go, we've got rockets. Morocco is what gi gives us some military production in the region. So let's recruit a militia unit to go kick them out of this dry dock. We're not worried about that yet. The people have accepted us. Let's upgrade their military infrastructure. Upgrade their civil infrastructure. Keep recruiting. Your honor coming around. Good. Industry is growing. Lots of these areas are our newer areas that we're just bringing up to our standard of living. Maribo has been developed. Under sail. Aye, aye, sir. Okay, so I've got a navy that I can send on expeditionary operations. Aye, aye, sir. We have a aye, sir. 
set of trade fleets that are usable. Now you're still waiting for some... You're still at the back end of the queue. Here at Yorktown... Oh no, your ships, your ships have been recruited. Very well. So as we're sticking to the secure the local area, then advance out, let's send Renard Carlson to South America. Actually, Paramaribo, we want to build some militia here, occupy Demerara, because these ports are quite useful to send trade ships in for repairs and then get them turned around and back out again. Let's attack Cayenne with this Dutch force is holding out and we'll procure yet more goods for our empire especially spices the only place that we can get spice production out of India or the East Indies Trade Theatre once these areas are secured I'll probably build a small garrison force somewhere around here um, because these areas can be quite susceptible to attack from enemy powers they are very desirable regions and the enemy will let us know that they agree through sustained attack line infantry is going to make up the center of the force the republican guard are going to push the right because it's where the more of the built-up area is skirmishes advance up on the left Artillery sight their guns in the clear ground. Oh, it says Unlimber with carcass shot. Well, with a round shot for now, till we understand what we're facing again, what we're facing off against. All my cavalry on the left. Okay, we need to. I managed to advance up to there. I can see their cavalry advancing, but in of itself it's not a problem. Run my cavalry up to the high ground. There you're advancing at speed. They've checked their advance. The gunners smash the light horse immediately. Artillery stop bomb start bombarding their initial infantry units. The generals pulled back. New men jump on that artillery. Jump onto that um, that cavalry rather. Yeah, they're already broken. There's another charge coming in. But they're tribal auxiliary. Republican Guard. Pure the artillery position. Put artillery engage the skirmishers. Advance up aggressively. Skirmishers playing the high ground. Keep the cavalry running. Keep my general over here, somewhere to keep an eye on the first light horse that are routed through our formation. Advance the infantry up to force them to engage us. Good hits on the tribal auxiliary. Overwhelmed their guns. Cavalry is going to get engaged, but that in of itself is okay. Let's retarget the artillery to make sure we're engaging appropriate targets. some hidden units the 
definitely form square. Let's see if we can break it. There we go, the square has collapsed. The cavalry has turned up again to try and attack us from the rear. So then charge on into the 15th regiment. Woods artillery start engaging the enemy reinforcements. Our cavalry is about to get engaged big time by our own artillery. general came in and contributed to the destruction of the enemy cavalry component. Run the infantry up to secure their defensive line. Yeah, their musket auxiliary. That'll be okay to face off. No, run away. All that behind our line. My Republican Guard are chasing down some colonial line. They've decided to come back. Just keep them occupied for now. And then when the time comes, withdraw. But you know they're wavering. Keep up. Broken, shattered, withdraw the cavalry. Excellent. The infantry here are broken. Okay, let's send out my Republican Guard through the town. Where's my general? Destroy the 16th. Although you're not in a great spot to engage. Get up on top of that hill. Same with the provincial scouts. They're not quite in the best spot. Still not in a, not in a great spot. But it's somewhat tradition that my... It's my um, skirmishes that always have the worst engagement opportunities because I always put them on the flank and it's my center that actually ends up smashing them fifth broken now the enemy general is in range he doesn't seem that interested what's going on over here advance up towards the last formation of enemy troops that's holding out. Well, the general has returned. We'll push the howitzers out but they're not going to make it. Artillery bombard the 3rd regiment of foot. Don't worry, men. The Republicans are coming. Oh, you men need to make way or else you won't get into the action. Scouts no longer have a part to play. Re-engaging the General's bodyguard. Well, you're actually an... You're behind a little here. Storm up to the top of it, although his frame rate drops are starting to kick in. Fifth regiments form square. Bless, they think that will keep them alive. The general has abandoned you. Are you sure? 
shoots me. Yeah. 24 pound shot crashing in. You better do something. The 49th Regiment. They're opening fire, not even looking. It's a sorry showing. Excellent. The general has the has the uh, dignity to stay broken. They're not going to spin around and cause problems at the last minute, no sir. I'm going to repair this. We're going to repair you. Get our upgrades going, get better roads built. Excellent. Excellent activities there. We've done all of our building stuff. So we've got explosive rockets and they've gone straight on to shrapnel shot. That is grand. We're clearing out our... We're starting to build our trade areas, which is nice. Okay, let's get some upgrades for the military. Military infrastructure Sorry. upgrades. Victory. Let's the engage army. the last of the Dutch troops near Tangier. And then this army will head east along the coast. Let's keep going. Push along the push along the coast, drive back the Dutch, destroy them, and then that will will have a reasonable well, with Morocco and with Tangier under our control, we could start producing a lot of troops locally in theatre, which is really nice. Let's set up my troops, although this is really not really where I want to fight. We're gonna push out onto the wings. My marines and warriors are going to be sort of going through the town. We very much want to maximise our use of firepower. This is a really weird position for artillery, but let's roll with it. Okay, let's make sure we put our cavalry somewhere that doesn't immediately get shot by our own artillery. Something like that. I want my continental marines to be ready to push through the town. My native warriors are explicitly gonna push through the town to try and stalk our adversaries. of Hillary coming in. Push up rapidly. Now let's just drop shells onto their dragoons. Their artillery is already getting pummeled. Indian troops! Colonial troops from Ceylon. Interesting. are on their way. We're going to be in position ready for them. Yeah, you can shoot as much as you like. You've got a bunch of got a tomahawk wielding fellows who would just love to meet you. You like, but my god, we've got something to say to you about that. Marines, push, push, push. Push up our troops, ready to storm the town. You're right, actually, you guys go up here. Marines take the centre. Infantry push around the flanks. 
these units push up as a reserve. Light infantry, skirmish, cavalry. God, the terrain is so funky. Thanks, I think I need to stop all my artillery fire. Then it charge straight on into them. I think my cavalry just needs to get stuck in. Cavalry, keep infantry, keep pushing through the town. The marines have got this area locked down. It's these native warriors that need support. Could secure the town, but there's no real need. There's, could secure the could secure the town hall, but there's not really any need to do that. I might actually put put my long rifle into these buildings. The infantry is going to push right on to try and support the no support my the native warriors that are over here currently holding on their own. Severely depleted. Kill them. Native warriors break through. They ain't charged the 12th. I don't care about the general, that's fine, they do what they like. push forward into this fight. Don't let them... 7th Regiment of Foot Native Warrior Contingent has done a superb job. My reserves are ready to be deployed. I don't think they're going to be needed. We've smashed straight into the 12th Regiment. Actually, let's maybe deploy some of our reserves around the combat. Run, run, run. Grandma's bodyguard's kind of sat at the back going, oh dear. There you go, we've secured this building. We may engage the general's bodyguard. <laughs> He's good. That's not good. Go on, light infantry. Push on into the fourth. If you take it the right positions, you can snipe this general right off his horse. Although I don't know if they're actually going to do that. Send the regiment of horse after the general. The Continental Marines continue the attack. Kill the commander. He's the last one alive. Got him. Excellent. That'll show you. That'll show you, United Provinces. Oh, that'll show you all. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So you men can replenish. Push along the coast. And immediately try and put Algiers under threat and raid your way along. Patriotic Sword, Galloper, Corporal in Gold Braid, Superior General. Rapidly becoming one of my best commanders in the field. Even better than Anthony Wayne. Anthony Wayne is a eight-star commander. Yes, Granville. Oh, he's also eight. Okay, they're both pretty kick-ass. Fair enough. Awesome. Let's make sure our armies are still being recruited here. I don't need a legion in this army. Let's 
That's the last of the Hessian line that we can recruit. Although I think what I really want to do is... Oh no, I can't have you. I can't have you as my admiral. There we go. Forward. Not kind of you as my commander. Uh, okay, let's go back. Get back to recruit the provincial scouts. Unit grenadiers. Unit of Republican Guard. The last unit of Hessian line. Recruit some mercenaries. Recruit some standard line. There we go. Something like that. Then that will be your army up at full strength. Cool. All right, let's hit N10. You're advancing towards the Plains Nations peoples, who can be quite dicey. They're offering ten grand this time. Nope. No swaps. It's outgoing only. Britain's having a scooch around. Who are you to demand all this? No, sir. We're going to knock you out of the game. You're done for. You're out of here. You're history. France will. France will soon fall as well. We'll take Corsica. We'll start to carve out a little European empire and see what happens there. And I think we have to remember that we have a positive relationship with Spain for the time being, so the Iberian Peninsula is off the limits. And it looks like, in classic style, the Ottomans are going to chug. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we are back. Another 20-odd minute into phase there. So let's have a look. Is there anybody's... Any available trade zones here? Nope. Get off to West Africa. Sir. So this militia can go down to Ajadir to boot out that force in there. Yeah. On with our recruitment. Okay. When all, these, when all these guys are built up, they're going to end up being <laughs> dismantled in future. Once we get our units, they'll go back to being uh, centres of good governance rather than, a, rather than having a military bent to them. Okay, so the militia can go to Demerara. Get into Cinemary for now. Although you will fundamentally, the same, same things will happen here. But I will want to build a proper garrison force to protect these forces and allow to protect these cities and allow this army to be uh, onward deployed. Okay, good. We finally have another navy that's able to Can't do that, sir. get into the thick of it. Excellent. Let's keep building and again i am kind of somewhat limited because i've not got uh lime juice and sauerkraut or or do or have um steam engines so there is a, a bit of a limit so i'm going to get lime juice and sauerkraut build one naval hospital a bit in order to get yes. um first rates to get some first rates keep upgrading Cool. You are just going to push in. So yeah, ruin the ruin their dry dock. March on towards Algiers. We're not going to use the navy. Just push on, take Algiers. Then we'll advance and take Tunis, and that will be the end of the Dutch once and for all. We do have fortifications being built here, which is good. And I think largely everything is okay. We're still building up humble, sir. this army. They're waiting for one more unit of Republican Guard. Yes, sir. 
Let's recruit another commander. To maintain this production. This guy's going to have a rocket troop. In lieu of... Oh no, have it in addition to an artillery piece. Plus a unit of legion. There we go. Keep the growth going. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe I am at the... I am out of time of this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Yes. We're not yet in a position to uh, to uh, attack another enemy for the time being, but that's okay. I will see you in the next episode. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>